bonding basics with covalent bonds. You will need to get out your periodic table for this. This will look very similar as to how we began out our ionic bonds, bonding basics. So go ahead and get out your periodic table and I will go through the first one with you, but then you are to pause it and do the rest of them. So here's our periodic table. Here's carbon. <laughs> Good, I had to double check I was on the right one. Carbon has, uh, is in group 14, so therefore it is going to have four valence electrons. The atomic number is six. So the number of protons we have is six. The number of electrons will be identical to that. The number of valence electrons, remember we're in group 14, so we will have four valence electrons. So how many additional electrons do we need to fill out the outer shell? To equal eight, we will need four additional. So go ahead and finish filling out this. I am not going to do them all. I will do one more um, after you've gone through and done all the rest. So please pause the video and go ahead and work through these and fill them out using your periodic table. So the other one I, would, uh, I did for you is oxygen. Oxygen is right here, atomic number eight. Sorry, you can't see that. Atomic number eight, so therefore it has eight protons and it will have an equal number of electrons. The number of valence electrons, it is actually in group 16, so therefore it will have six valence electrons. So it needs two more to get to this eight. Remember, everything we're going to be doing is going to need eight unless it is hydrogen. So hopefully you have filled out the rest of this chart because you will need it to be able to do the rest of this activity. So here are the directions. Draw the Lewis dot structure for each element. Draw circles around each atom showing the electrons that are going to be shared by overlapping. Write the chemical formula and then write the symbols with just those bonds. Hydrogen. First thing we're going to do, hydrogen has one valence electron, one valence electron, so we have a total of two valence electrons, so we want to make sure that's what we end up with. Hydrogen has one, we have another hydrogen with one. We will draw a circle to show that they are going to share these. This will give us a total of two valence electrons, that way this hydrogen can use these as two, and this hydrogen can use these as two. The chemical formula would be H2, and we can show the bond between these two electrons as H bond H, so that is a single bond. Let's go ahead and try exercise number two. On exercise number two, remember we said hydrogen will not be in the center if we have anything else. So we will have oxygen in the center. First thing we do is see how many valence electrons we have. Hydrogen has one valence electron, but we have two of them, so we will multiply it. Oxygen has six valence electrons. So we have two plus six. That will give us a total of va eight valence electrons. So we will need to count at the end to make sure we have all of those drawn. So we draw oxygen in the center and we'll have a hydrogen on each side. Each hydrogen will have one valence electron. Our oxygen has six valence electrons. There's two, four, five, six. Oxygen will share this hydrogen. Oxygen will share this hydrogen's electrons. So each of these will now have two electrons. This will give us hydrogen which needs two valence electrons, that fulfills it. This hydrogen needs two valence electrons, that fulfills it. 
Now let's see if our oxygen will have a total of eight. Two, four, six, eight. And that also gives us eight valence electrons. So our formula will be H, two hydrogens, one oxygen. To draw our bonds, our symbols with our bonds, or you could draw it straight out beside it would be fine also. Go ahead and turn your paper over. Now, on exercise number three, on practice number three, I want you to go ahead and write down the total, uh, how many valence electrons chlorine has in each one. Draw the Lewis dot structure of those. So you are going to pause the video and get these drawn and see how well you do on these. Now, remember, you can cheat. You can go ahead and go through the video and copy it down just as I am doing. But you will not be actively learning. And I want you to take control and actively learn. So I will do one more of these with you. Pause the video and get busy. Chlorine has uh, seven valence electrons. We have two chlorines here. So that gives us a total of 14 valence electrons. Now go ahead and draw two chlorine atoms with those seven valence electrons and see how they would be bonded to be able to get that full eight outer shell. Each of our chlorines with seven valence electrons. We can see if we have seven, each of these chlorines will need one, so we can share this combination. To write the symbols with the bond, that's the single bond, and to write our formula. Now, you can go ahead and work the rest of them. I think I will do, um, I think I will do number five. No, I'll go ahead and do number four with you, and then you will be responsible for five and six. So, go ahead and pause the video and try number four, and then you can double check it. Oxygen has six valence electrons, so in the end, we will need to make sure we have a total of 12 valence electrons. We have two oxygens. Here is their Lewis dot structure. Now, since we have six valence electrons, we are going to need two additional electrons to be able to fulfill that octet rule. So we can share these two and share these two. Let's see if we have our total. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. There's our total. Let's see if each oxygen will have eight, two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight and eight. So that ends up fulfilling our octet rule. We would draw this. Remember, each of these circles represents, is, can be represented by two lines. Therefore, oxygen has double bonds. We have two oxygens, so we have an O2. So go ahead and do number five, number six. I really, really would like to see you try um, the bonus. I think that would be very good for you. I will do a separate video um, showing you how to work five and six, but I'm going to make you look for it. Um, so I really, really want you to do it. No, as a matter of fact, I'm not going to do that. I am going to have you bring your paper up and let myself or the substitute double check it to see if you did five or six correctly. Good luck. You can do this. 